Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your project using npm from scratch. And we will also see what is package.json and why it's required. So let's get started and I want to create a new project. So right now we have been work working on this hello project and uh, still we are uh, in this project using Visual uh, Studio Code, right? So I want to change uh, this project or I want to create a new project and uh, for example this project is in my samples uh, folder right so in the samples folder I'm going to create one more directory so I'm going to open the command line and right now I'm in the hello folder which is this one right so I will go one folder back you can also use this folder explorer to do the same things which I'm go going to do from command line. So right now I'm in samples folder, which is this one, right? So I'm going to create a directory, for example. So I will just give mkdir command and the name of the directory, for example, first npm. So because we are creating our first npm, uh, you know, project or the project using npm, our first uh, project using npm, so I'm going to name it as first npm, right? And I will just press enter, which is going to create this folder here, right? First npm. Right now, this is a blank folder. And the way you can open this folder in Visual Studio Code is just go to the file, open folder, and then just choose this folder, which is right now blank and which is totally fine, okay? So it's going to open this folder in your Visual Studio Code. Now, in order to initialize your uh, project and, uh, you know, configure your project, give the name, version and, uh, you know, other properties to your project, you can give the command called npm in it, okay, which is kind of initialize your project, okay, so just give npm in it and then press enter, which is going to ask you some questions. So, first of all, Right now I'm in samples uh, folder, which I don't want. I want to go to the first uh, npm folder. So I'm going to just cancel this npm command and let me go to the, first of all, this uh, first npm folder. So right now I'm in the first npm folder. I was in samples folder. So I changed it to uh, first npm, right? Now I'm going to clear everything for now and then I will give uh, npm init command, okay? So just go inside your folder in which you want to create your project and give npm init command and press enter, which is going to ask you some questions. And uh, the first question is the project name. I'm going to leave it as default, so press enter. Then the version, this is the default version. Then uh, whenever you uh, make a major change to your project, you can change the version also, but in the later stages, right? So I'm going to leave it as default and then press enter. This is a description to your project. So you can give any description to your project. For example, first NPM project, for example, and then press enter. And then it's going to ask the entry point and this will be the entry point javascript file for your project so index.js file so i'm going to leave it as default and then it's going to also ask you if you have any test commands or not i don't have any test because i haven't even written any code yet so i will leave it as default and press enter and if you have any Git repository, it's going to ask you. I don't have any, so I'm going to just pass it. Here you can give any keyword to your project, for example, node uh, npm or any uh, keyword related to your project, right? And then press enter. And then the author name, you can give your name. I'm going to just uh, say me. And then the license, I'm going to leave it as default. And then uh, it's going to confirm that if you want to, you know, give these information, these are the information which will be saved in your project. And if you are sure, you can just uh, press yes and then press enter. Okay. 
So you can see there is a package.json file created inside your folder. So let's open this package.json file. And here, whatever information you have given using npm init command, it's all there. So it's a JSON file. The name of your project is first uh, npm. The version is uh, 1.0.0, which is the default version. And we have also given the description. This is the entry point. So this file will be the main file which uh, you know npm is going to see so let's create this file first of all so i'm going to just right click here create new index.js okay so this will be my entry point now if you have some test you can give some test commands here but right now we don't have any tests so we are skipping it we have given these two keywords here but you can give your keywords and then you have the author name and license right now in the last video we have uh, talked about the express module so whenever you want to uh, install any uh, package or node module in your project what you do is you can just use npm install right so npm install and then the name of your package so for example express but this time instead of uh, pressing enter you just need to just give uh, save for example so just give hyphen save or minus save here and what this command is going to do is or what this save flag is going to do is it's going to add this express to your package.json so let's give this command and let's see what happens so i'm going to press enter with this minus save flag right so it's going to install uh, this uh, express package and we will see this uh, node modules directory created and in your package.json you can see uh, element is added which is express and here is the version of, of express which is installed right so whenever you uh, give this command for example any command install command which with save a flag it's going to add it your package.json with the package installed and the version of uh, package installed right so now whenever you write some code in your project and whenever you want to give it to your colleague to run it you can just give this kind of project and you give your project without you know these uh, npm module installed right because these directories are so many directories and they take lots and lots of memory so the ideal practice is to give your project file with your package.json without node modules folder and whenever somebody uh, will use npm uh, install uh, command this whatever is listed here is automatically will be installed in your uh, you know project so let's say i want to uninstall this express now so i'm going to uninstall it and press enter this is going to uninstall the express module and we will see every module will be deleted from the node modules uh, folder but you can observe that by giving this uninstall command this dependency is not deleted here right so if this dependency uh, is there and now so you can see right now node modules doesn't have any uh, express module because we have uninstalled it and this kind of uh, you know project you give it to your colleague and what he does is this colleague can just run npm install without any package name so he can just do npm install and this npm install is going to go through your package.json file and it will see which package is uh, there in your package.json for example express package and the version of package which is uh, there in your json file package.json file so it's going to install automatically this package in your project so let's give npm install without any uh, package name and it's going to go through your package.json and it's automatically going to install 
in some moment you are going to see here express will be installed so you can see express is installed in your project just with this dependency right so this is why package.json is important so whenever you uh, want to distribute your project the package.json is the for example entry point for npm to recognize which modules are there in your project which packages are there and which version of packages are installed what are the test commands what is the entry point for your uh, project and some description of your project and even the version right so you can see this is the express version which is installed and for example whenever you develop your project and somebody want to install your uh, you know project as a module this will be the version which is going to be installed so this is the version same as this version right now you can go to node modules so go inside this node modules and we are going to go inside this express uh, folder here inside node module and you can see this express module also have its own package.json file so let's open this package.json file and you can see there are a bunch of elements here and when we go down you can see you can add to your package.json contributors and then you can see the dependencies of uh, this express is accept for example so you can see accept module is installed then array uh, and this module is installed then this content uh, description content type so one by one every module will be installed whatever is listed as a dependency in the package.json file okay so this is the importance of package.json you can go down and this there is one element called dev dependencies which we are going to talk, talk about later and you can see many uh, com, you know elements here so whenever you want to distribute your uh, project you can see this is mit license uh, for express module and the maintainers of uh, this modules with the name and the email id of the those persons who are maintaining this uh, modules and there are some scripts so if you want to test your uh, you know express module this is the command to test right so whenever we will write some uh, test for our module we will write this kind of command to our uh, package.json file also okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now